What's up? How y'all doing? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is really just going to be like a life update and what's been going on with me and how things are going and they're not going great. If you're interested in hearing about my life and what's going wrong, but also what's going right, then um, keep watching. It's been a rough couple of weeks, you guys. And... I guess I'm really not sure what's going on with me, but I feel like I'm going through some emotional stuff. I've been very emotional, um, keeping it to myself. I'm not really talking to anyone about it because I don't really have anyone to talk to about it. So I kind of just have been keeping to myself, um, and I'm just going through some things. Like, I haven't been doing keto very well the last couple of weeks, and I was doing so good. Um, in the last couple weeks, I've just been like, screw it. I don't even really care at this point. I Obviously, I do care and I do want to meet my weight loss goals. But I'm just like at a point, I feel like that I'm just like, screw it. I'm tired of being um, um, limited, I guess, on everything and restricted on everything. And I wanted to like... <laughs> just live life for a little bit and be free of it all. Normally I'm pretty strict about my keto um, and I'm pretty open about keto when I mess up and whatever but just lately it's been like extra hard. It's harder when the other people in your house are not keto as well and by no means am I blaming anybody it's all on me this is what I want to do um, I have to be strong enough to resist the cravings I have to be strong enough to say I don't want ice cream and stuff like that but I really have just been in a weird place lately and it's messing up keto it's messing up my exercise routine um, and I'm just not feeling right emotionally right now and I think it just is all catching up to me so <sighs> I'm really trying I know I need to get it together um I also still have not found a job which that is so stressful in itself um and I'm really just at the point where I'm ready to run out and take any type of job, but I don't want to do that because I want to progress in my career and I can't do that if I keep falling back on the same thing because I know it and it's familiar to me and I know I can go out and get a job teaching, you know, it's it's daycare though. It's not like teaching in like unified like a school district, so it's daycare, so it's a whole different ball game than teaching in um, like Head Start or... Um, you know, in a school district. It's totally different when you work in a daycare. They um, take advantage of you. They work you like a dog. <laughs> they pay you very little. They don't offer you any benefits. And I don't want to go back to that. I want to progress in my career. And I'm at the point where I feel like, I mean, it's just depressing. I'm getting, I'm, 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 I'm getting down on myself. I'm not really trying to, but it's happening. You know, after so much rejection, you start to feel like, damn, like, am I not good enough? Like, what is it that I can't, like, land this job? I'm trying and trying and trying. Like, and it's not, I'm not just specific anymore. I have, um, like, widened my search and I'm willing to go to other organizations. It doesn't have to be this one specific one, but at this point, I'm getting frustrated like and it's depressing and it's really like beating me down and I know I shouldn't be feeling this way and I know that like I, I know I'm good enough I know I have the degree I know I have the skills education experience to back everything up that I'm saying and my resume it speaks for itself and the, the things that I'm applying for but you know the only thing I can think of y'all right now at this point is that I'm not bilingual I hate to say this, but I believe that it's because I'm not bilingual is why I'm not getting the jobs that I'm applying for. Now, I say that because um, I work in human services. And if you know what that is, that's like case management and, you know, applying for benefits through the state and stuff like that. So with that said, it's like, am I not, like, what else could it possibly be? <laughs> Because I have the skills, I have the experience, I have the education, everything that they're asking for except the fact that I'm not bilingual. And it's frustrating. It is frustrating. It's irritating and it's frustrating. I just don't know what to do or think at this point. Um, you know, some of the jobs here are saying that um, bilingual is preferred. But 
other jobs are like blatantly saying that bilingual is required and I just feel like <sighs> I went to school and got a degree in human services so that I could help people but now I can't help people because I'm not bilingual I think it's bullshit I think it's bullshit so that's another stress that I have on me I have bills I have to pay bills right I have stuff that I need to pay I want to help my husband I'm just tired of this shit and it's not happening you know I'm trying to keep a positive mind um just it's frustrating y'all I'm really trying to stay positive through all this you know I do firmly believe in like the law of attraction and what you know you think your reality and I have made my vision board and I've done you know I wake up thinking positive thoughts every single day and it just at some point though I don't care who you are the shit gets to you and it brings you down like after you have been rejected multiple 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 times for positions and stuff that you know that you can do like I feel like at this point like I'm, I'm applying for positions that I'm even overqualified for but then I am um, it's like a catch-22 because now I'm overqualified for that so of course they're not gonna hire me for that but then I'm underqualified or I don't have a specific skill that people are looking for so it's frustrating I'm getting frustrated and I don't know I don't know what to do at this point you know my my feelings and my emotions are definitely getting in the way of my thinking at this point and I know I need to get it together and you know stop the negative thinking and thoughts but it's hard you know after you after you go through all of this you know I followed my dream and I moved to Florida and you know this is definitely what I want to do and I have every intention of staying in Florida as long as I can land a job that's going to help me survive like yeah I got little side hustles but they don't pay the bills the way I want to pay the bills I have you know things that I need to um pay and you know want extra money to go out and have fun and you know that type of stuff I get bored sitting here I try to make up shit to do like <laughs> like you know I'm doing a garden now because I'm bored I'm just bored I'm so bored and I am at the point where I'm feeling like well you know you messed around and wasted you know three years three and a half years of your life getting a, an associate degree when it's not doing nothing for you so now I'm getting bad vibes about that you know I'm thinking all these things and I really don't want to and I know I shouldn't be but at the end of the day I'm only human and it is what it is like I'm gonna think these things after you know you're rejected so many times you know and you don't get those callbacks and you just sit here and wonder like what the hell is wrong with me like why am I not getting the callbacks you know it's frustrating you really start to doubt yourself yeah you know, and with that said I mean there's not a lot I can do I'm here I'm you know living in Florida yes and I'm trying to do the damn thing but if I don't get a job here pretty soon I'm gonna have to go back to teaching because it's what I know and what I can get hired doing um, and I, you know, that's another thing. Like, I feel like I wasted 20 years of my life in early childhood for it to get me nowhere. So if y'all are thinking about going into early childhood, really seriously think about that because going into early childhood and working in these daycares, even if you are a preschool teacher working in these daycares, people don't see it that way. People see it as freaking babysitting. It's not babysitting. You try to do it. You try to sit with 20 kids by yourself, 24 and five year olds all freaking day and see how you do. It's not an easy job, but we get paid like shit. We don't get any benefits and there's just no future in it. There's no, you cannot progress in this job unless you go to a director or assistant director. It's high stress, low pay, BS, job. So that's why I don't want to go back to it. That is why I went to school to get the education but now the education is not working for me. It's not benefiting me at this point. And I need to figure out what I can do. Um, I need to just figure out something. I don't, I don't want, I'm at a point at, right now, right now I'm at a point where it's like, I'm going to have to take anything that I can get. Because I have bills to pay and I'm tired of my husband out there busting his ass and he's working, you guys. He's, you know, out there busting his ass working 70 hours a week almost. And it's just frustrating, you know. And I know he's getting frustrated and he's tired and I hate to see him like that. And it's just hard. Sorry, guys. I got a little emotional, but it's what it is. This is real life shit. I'm just frustrated. I need to vent. I need to talk about it. 
I try not to um, bother him with this type of stuff because it stresses him out. You know? <sighs> so I really try not to bother him with any of this type of stuff and I don't want him to um, you know, be even more stressed out or anything like that. So I just try to, I try to keep stuff to myself and, but it's getting to me, y'all. It's getting to me. I wouldn't be human if it didn't get to me. <laughs> so I'm so choked up right now. It's just not even funny. I don't get this way. I'm not this emotional type of damn person, but damn, I can only take so much. But anyway, on a happy note, y'all, um, tomorrow my son will be here. and picking him up from Tampa International, and he's going to spend the next five days here with us, and I'm super psyched. Like, I'm so ready to see him and just hang out with him for a little bit, you know. I haven't seen my kids um, since September when I went back home, and it's just time. It's time because your girl is apparently an emotional wreck, and I'm sure my eating habits, and I could tell. I don't know if any of y'all could tell, but my eating habits have changed so therefore my moods are changing and I'm super extra emotional when I don't even need to be I mean yes I have the right to be but that's not typically me I can tell by the way I'm eating and I'm eating all messed up that um and I've gained weight obviously um and I know it's probably just you know like water weight and BS like that but still it's a weight gain no matter how you look at it um so I need to get back on track with my keto. That probably helped me feel better. Um, because taking out all the crap and the processed foods. I'm not eating like a whole ton of like bad stuff. But I am eating ice cream. Because you know that's my addiction. So I do have ice cream. I could tell like the way I've been feeling. And my mood swings and stuff. That I have been eating so messed up lately you guys. And I really need to get it together. Because I have not been following keto the greatest. Like I haven't like totally gone off the rails. But... I have had some bread, um, I have had some like potato salad, I have had ice cream, and I can just tell that I'm putting this crap back into my body again, and, and, and honestly, it alters your mood, it really does, I don't care what people say, your, what you consume, the foods that you're consuming, and the stuff that you put into your body alters your mood, I'm telling you, because this is what's happening to me right now, and I can feel it, um, when I'm eating better, and I'm like strictly like keto, I feel so much more positive and I could think so much more clear and right now I'm just like a hot jumble like mess right now I really am and it's not my own fault like ain't nobody to blame but me but I haven't really been sticking to keto and it's harder when you know other people in your house are not fully keto but it's nobody's fault but my own but I'm just saying you know um when there are things in the house that are not keto and I like to eat then I'm gonna slip and it just makes it more difficult, but I have a mind of my own, and my choices have not been great, and I have been messing up, so I need to get it together, and I need to regroup, regroup and focus on my freaking goals, because I haven't even been doing that. Yes, there, you know, there is um, light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> And I am super stoked, you guys, about my son coming tomorrow. I'm going to see if he'll be on camera, but I don't know if he'll want to be, but um, we'll see. Um, and you can meet him. We're going to go out and do some activities. Um, and it'll be a good five days. I don't know how much, like, honestly, that I'm going to vlog just because, you know, I want to have that quality time with my son. So I don't know how much I'll be vlogging, but I will try to get some footage and I'll ask him if he wants to be in the videos so you guys can meet him. And then, so that's this week. So that's tomorrow. My son is coming. He will be here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He's leaving out on Monday. So then Tuesday of next week, you guys, which I'm super stoked about again. And I know I shouldn't be in this video right now being all worked up and emotional because I have so much good stuff happening. Also, that um, it kind of sounds silly for me to be emotional about this right now. But um, on Tuesday of next week, my granddaughters will be here with... Um, their mom with my daughter-in-law so it just turned out that they had to take separate vacations because of work schedules and things like that so um, my son is coming to visit and he's going to be staying here with us for five days but then my daughter-in-law is coming to florida but she's going to orlando and with her side of the family so my granddaughters will be here in florida and i will be meeting up with them on tuesday of next weekend we're going to do a clearwater beach day so that'll be pretty cool so you guys 
might get to meet my granddaughters. I don't know. They're 10 and 3, two beautiful baby girls, and I'm just super excited to, to see them. Um, so yeah, I do have good things happening also, guys. It's just that these things that I have been, like, <sighs> I just have a lot of stress and anxiety about employment right now, and that was it's really getting to me. That's my update. Um, keto has not been the greatest, and I need to get on get back on track with that. Um, job hunting is just not freaking happening at all. I don't have any prospects, nothing. Like I've applied, 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 unless somebody calls me here like out of the blue. Um, I've applied to some positions like last week that I thought um, I would have heard from by now, but it's just not happening. Um, the only thing I can really think of is that I'm not bilingual, um, so being in the human services field, um, a lot of people that, you know, need assistance are, uh, would be like immigrants and someone maybe that speaks a different language than I, and I speak English. <laughs> Bottom line, that's it. So, and I'm not saying anything about anybody who speaks Spanish, for God's sakes, my kids are Hispanic, my my husband is Hispanic. I am not, but I'm just saying that I need a job, but I don't speak Spanish. And I think it might be hindering my um, ability to like actually land a job in human services at this point in this area because it is a high Hispanic population. There's so many people that speak so many different languages around here because, you know, Florida is such a transient state. Anyway, um, so yeah. I'm working all the I'm working on all of this you guys. I'm really trying to stay positive and I really do believe in the law of attraction and what you think your reality. I'm really trying to stay positive. I'm trying to like talk about all these negative um feelings that I'm having so I can get them out and I don't hold them in because it's been the last couple weeks that I've really been feeling this way. Um this is why I haven't really made a video and I did get a little emotional today. But it is what it is. This is real life shit. This is real life like relocating and moving somewhere else and, you know, leaving everything that you know back home and coming to a place that you have no idea. But it's something that I have to deal with because going home is not an option. Failure is not an option. But feelings are, I just, you know, I have feelings. I have emotions. I'm trying to deal with them. I'm trying to work through them. And this is how I'm doing it because I don't have any one specific person that I can talk to and I don't bother my husband with the stresses um, of how I'm feeling about not being able to contribute to the household the way I want to because I don't want to stress him out already any more than he already is so this is what you get <laughs> this is real life shit I'm seriously seriously happy that my son is coming here tomorrow because I kind of need it I need some child therapy my own child therapy, not anybody else's child therapy. But, you know, I need to be with um, my kids or at least one of them and just, you know, I need some family therapy, <laughs> which is my kids. My kids are my life. Anybody that knows me knows that. Oh my gosh, see, I'm emotional. That just got me teary out just saying that shit. Like, you have no idea. So that's my life, y'all. That's how it's going right now. Um, if you have any words of advice, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, just some words of encouragement. That would be great. Um, you know, sometimes we just need to hear that. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new here, then thank you for coming back. Thank you for, like, dealing with me and going through my emotional roller coasters with me and my ups and my downs. I mean, that's what real life is about. Like, I don't want to make a channel where I'm on here, like, BSing you all the time. And, you know, my life is <laughs> happy-go-lucky all the time because not real life does not happen that way. You have your ups and you have your downs and um we work through them that's what we do that's the point right like as long as we don't stay stuck then we'll be all right so if you like this video guys give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one